perfecto y la, y la play, 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 play. All right, all you Goose Nude brothers. Welcome to the first ever Mojo Goose Nude show. Now, e dog, I don't know if he was messing with me or if he was acting retarded, uh, whatever. He said, hey, Mojo, why don't you do a little uh, video where you answer questions from some of the Ghost Nude brothers. I said, hey, I could do that. Well, they sent us some pretty dumb questions. But I mean, I guess this is what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? First question I got was from e Dog himself. And I don't think he thought I was going to answer the question. He said, Mojo, I'm a big guy, and you a big guy. Be honest, how do you wipe your butt? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of retarded, huh? Well, I don't have that problem because I'm not that big. But I'll be honest with you. Man, about six months ago, I hurt my back. It was terrible. It was really terrible. So, you know, I got my wife to wipe my butt for a little while. But uh, she got tired of that crap really quick. So, being the ingenious, ingenuous mojo, I had to come up with a plan. I'm going to share that plan with y'all right now. The first thing you got to get you is one of these here coat hangers. Yeah, you seen them. They had all of the department stores. Before we can get to the actual use of it, we got to modify it. It can't work like this. So, to modify it, first thing we're going to do is we got to get rid of this hook. Simple little cutting pliers. Here we go. Bam. Here we go. I don't want to do it right. Bam. Gone. Now, you see it's double ending. We really don't need it double ending. So, we're going to remove one of these ends. sharp edges. That's nonsense. So, of course, I'm going to make me a little handle with some magical black tape. That's right. Get it going on there real good. A little tape. A little handle. And, man, it's looking more professional every time I look at it. Now, all you got to do now, take yourself some paper. Bang. Fold it. Whoop. And, yeah. A little bit of foldification. Oh man, you can reach anything with that. Be honest. Be honest. Now come on, you're getting clean. All right. Enough of that nonsense. Now another question I got was from uh, Benji and Houndo. They were trying to decide what was the best kind of lubricant to use. Now I'm always working on all kind of nuts and bolts, all kind of stuff. So man, I'm an expert at lubricant. So I said, hey, I done been through this before. Let's go over the best lubricant that you should use. Now, first thing I got was WD-40. Hey, great. It's, it's very, very slick, very slippery. Uh, it, but it tastes bad. And um, I don't really think it's good for you. But it works pretty good. But it evaporates real quick. It needs a little bit more oil to it and less solvent. I guess the solvent is more of like a cleaner. So, strike one, got to go. Number two, liquid wrench. Oh, this is much better. It still tastes freaking bad. Anyway, it smells bad, tastes bad. Lubricate is good, but yeah, stop squeaks and eases sticking parts. So if you got some sticking parts and you need to, don't use this. No, I'm just clowning, I'm just clowning. Don't use this. <laughs> this, this could mess you up. It could mess you up. I said I need something with a little bit of like good oil in it. Here we go. Three in one. Hey, the magic stuff. I use this to sharpen my knives. It's always razor sharp. This works really well. Same thing. Bad taste, and I really don't think it's good for you. So anyway, to be honest with you, the best stuff you could get is warm touch warming jelly. The best thing you can get, hound dog, I'm telling you. This is what you need to use. Benji will love you for it. Great stuff. Warms up, lubes, tastes good. Let's have a taste. Take a, oh shit. It tastes great. I'm just kidding, it tastes nasty. Damn. Fuck. Ah, it's disgusting. 
It didn't taste like that last night. Anyway, this is Mojo's recommendation. Uh, it's uh, Natureplex Warm Touch Lubricating Jelly. Don't leave one without it. I'm bringing a bucket to Chicago. Yeah, Chicago's going to be the bomb. All right. Good enough. Done with that episode. Now, what's next? I had uh, one of the Ghost No Brothers said that he wants to know what Frank's talking about. Well, you know him as Anatomic. What he's talking about with the Mojo Real Key. Well, here it is. Woo! Never leave home without it. I do a lot of professional drum tech gigs, backline gigs, playing gigs, always around drums, never without a key. You know you drop it on the floor, you put it here, you put it there, you put it on the drum, you're playing it, go to find it, it fell off, you never know where it is, and you gotta have a key. This is always where you need it, bam! You need a tuner drum? Look at There it is, boom. Tune it, tune it, and all you gotta do is just let it go. When you need it again, there it is. Now this is very simple to make. They sell these lanyards at Office Depot. They sell these reels at Office Depot. And they sell these drum keys, or you know, anywhere you can get them. And I recommend that you get the one with the hole in the center because it, it works really well, much easier to, to turn. If you have one that has a hole on the end, it, it's just, it twists the string around there and it's just a bunch of nonsense. Mojo's real key, yeah. Gotta get it. Well, anyway, it's not for sale, because you know I ain't selling nothing over here. But, here you go. Make it yourself. You can make it for three or four bucks. Maybe five bucks. Yeah, they're really nice. Now, for the last thing, last thing we're gonna do, I thought maybe we should try and get a hold of Hound Dog and let him just say hi to the folks. You know, I know he's working, but it might be lunchtime right now. So we're gonna try. I hooked up a little sound system. See if we can, uh, check one. Yeah? Check one, two, two, check, check. See if I can get him on the phone. Just so he can say hi to y'all. Let's see if he's gonna answer. Let's see if I have a signal in this freaking room. All right. Yeah, yeah, oh, nope, there's a signal. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. Hound dog. Starts with an H. HD, mobile phone, calling. Hey, here we go. Let's see if you can hear. Shit happens. So, anyway, I'll try and get his uh, new number. Apparently, he changed phones or something because I know he's got a phone. Uh, I guess it just didn't update with the new phone number. Hey, who else can we call? Should we call Benji? Should we call Ken? Huh? Anyway, let's see. We gotta talk to somebody. I mean, I rigged up this whole thing. It cost me twenty dollars at at Radio Shack this morning to get this nonsense set up. Trying not to cuss. It's hard. All right, let's see if we can find Ken. Let's see. Or I think I have them in here as cranks. Uh Chris Kenny? No, uh no, uh no, uh no. Yeah. <clears throat> Bear with me just a minute. <laughs> we gotta talk to somebody. Let's see. I know he's got a job, but Sound engineer. Now we talking. Sorry, I missed your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey kid, it's Mojo. I was calling to have a conversation on the first video of the Ghost Note Mojo show, but nobody's answering. I guess I should call when people are at home instead of at work. Anyway, you get the message, call me back, dude. 
Later. Well, at least we can say we tried. I know this has been too long already, so I hope everybody had a good time listening to the Mojo Ghost Note Show, and um, I'll be back next time. Y'all send y'all questions in, and I'm going to try and answer them in a timely fashion. And rock out, and Mojo Drums, what's up?